Now we're going to discuss two tools, Apply Dress Up, Remove Dress Up. I'm going to select the Apply Dress Up icon, and you'll notice that I have two options, Control Points, Segmentation. Under Control Points, you have the ability to display what you want the control points to look like. You can turn on or off either one of these two. So I'm going to select a surface and simply select Apply. Now you'll notice that the dress up that is applied shows me the control polygon of the actual surface. This is the math, the underlying math, which is describing this surface. What this does for me in this case is it shows me my control points as well as my segmentation. Now you'll notice that here, these are my control uh, vertices as, long, as well as the control halls. These are the halls that connect the control vertices. This dashed line is an isoparameter curve. It's not an actual segment. The solid font line is an actual segment. You'll notice that I have a little bit of bunching as I get across over to this surface and the reason behind that is, is I have a segment from here to here, I have a segment from here to here, and I have a segment from here to here. This very short segment has the appropriate amount of math, um, looks like it's a third degree as well, so the control points are relatively bunched up. So this dress up allows me to visualize the math involved in making the actual surface. So this can actually, in some instances, point out any issues that I may have with a surface that may not be readily available or readily visual based off of just looking at a plain surface. Or I may do a uh, different type of analysis, which we'll get into, that tells us how complex the surface is, but it doesn't necessarily show us how complex the surface is. So this tool applies that dress up to visualize how that surface actually looks mathematically. Now, the reason why this is good is because you can actually catch areas where bunching may be a bad thing. You may see a surface that has all the control points basically narrowing down to zero. So you're taking all the control points and overlapping them over top of one another, which could cause issues with manufacturing downstream. You may get uh, a jittery tool that likes to jump around as it gets to a certain location on the surface. And that's because the control points may be creating a point in that surface that is causing the tool uh, the inability to manufacture that point or that part of the part being manufactured to be unmanufacturable. Now, once I select OK, the dress up is now applied to that surface. You'll notice there's nothing in the tree that I can delete to remove that dress up. And that's where this remove dress up comes in handy. I can select the surface, I select remove dress up, and now that visualization is gone. So the two work with one another apply dress up, remove dress up. Turn on, turn off. Simple as that.